Hello and welcome to Burn to Learn. This is Rod Davis and in this video we will show you how to use Outlook 2016 to replace agony with clarity on what you need to get done in your busy work or private life. Okay, let's begin. So open Outlook, go to your home page, and click on New Items. When you do that, your option box drops and then scroll down and click on Task. This will take you to the Tasks page. And the very first thing you have to do is to put in a subject. Our subject is going to be Jack's Drywall Ink Blueprints. Now we have to work with our dates. Our start date for this will be the 7th of July. And the due date of this for this is the 9th of July. So we click on those. And we must now decide if we want a reminder and when we do. If we do, you can see we're already scheduled for a reminder on the 7th. Let's, uh, let's change that to the 8th. And then decide on when we want the reminder. And let's decide at 10.30 in the morning. Okay, that's fine. So now it's time to look at the status of this project by clicking that down arrow. You see you have several options, not started, in progress, completed, waiting for someone else, or deferred. Let's, let's click on in progress because that's what it is. Now we have to decide the priority and we click that down our arrow and uh, you can have low, normal, or high. This is a close date so let's click on high priority. Now we need to write a note to make sure we're clear on what it is we must do. So we're going to write a note saying mail blueprints to Jack's Drywall Inc. So now we're set. Next, we're going to assign this task. So click on Assign Task. And now we have to put in the names of the people we want to assign this task to. And we can put in as many as we want. We can do this by typing in the initials and then clicking, and that's one. Or we can go to the address book, open that, and we're going to click on John Smith. This is the second person that we will assign it to. So now we have two people there. As you can see, the date, start date, and due date are still the same as we established earlier. And you can see the priority is high, which is what I indicated uh, last time. The high importance is indicated. And the status is still the same. It's in progress. So now, let's prepare a note for the people to whom we've assigned this. And we're going to make sure, we're going to ask them to please make sure you put our logo on the package. Now this is all set. Now let's think about how often this task occurs. So click on the Recurrence button. Now the recurrence pattern can be daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. But since this is a building project, let's make this monthly. And we know that each month, that on the 15th day of the month is when this task will be needed again. And we're going to look at when to end this task so let's end this task at, uh, say, four times. Now it started on a date, since it's due to 15th, let's start this 
on the 14th of the month of July. So click on the 14th. And now we're set. So click OK. Now we want to choose a category for this task. So click on the category button. Let's look at all the categories. By category, we're going to choose a color for it, and it's rather urgent. So let's choose the red category color. Click on red and then click OK. Now we want to follow up on, on this matter. Click on the follow up button and let's add a reminder for this. Since the start date is uh, the 15th and due the 17th, let's choose a reminder the morning of the 17th. So let's click our down arrow and let's change the time to bright and early in the morning from, let's change it from 1030 to an earlier time of 830. Uh, 830, not 8 o'clock. Let's correct that. Thank you very much. So now we are pretty good on, on everything, so it's time to save and close this. And when we do this, this will go automatically to the people we've addressed this to. Now let's check the status of our lists. Scroll down to the bottom left and click on the task icon. When you click on it, you reveal the detailed page where all of our tasks are listed. Go over to the simple list and we'll differentiate between the two. When on the detailed page, you could check all your tasks plus their status. On the simple list page, our tasks are there but not with their status. If we go over to the to-do list and click there, it shows all of our tasks that are pending or still active. When you click on the Prioritize tab, you see all of our tasks and the ones that are of high importance are at the bottom. You can see there, that's Jack's Drywall Ink Blueprints. And it's a red in category because it's of high importance. Now, when you click on the Active tab, you see all of our pending uh, tasks, the ones that are still to be worked on. There's now we're going to return and hit the Detailed tab one more time. There are two ways to mark a task complete. One way is to click on the red flag on the right end of a task. When you do that, the task has lines through it. It's now complete. The second way to mark a task complete is to click on the Mark Complete tab. When you do that, your tab, your task will show as also being complete. There is also a way to remove a task from your list. You can select a task and then go up and hit the remove from list and the task will be removed. Another way to do that is to select the task and just simply hit the delete button and your task will be deleted, just like that. Okay, so now you can bring clarity to what you need to get done in your busy work life. When you get clarity, that can also mean you have, you're better organized and not overwhelmed. In our next video, we're going to show you how to use the delete function of Outlook 2016. And until then, have fun.